Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review, and we've got a great one coming up with Braden, Shane, and Drew. As usual, we play the domain game, and this time we've got FBIN.com and Demeanor.io, along with Qatar.net and VIPDental.com, which we mentioned earlier on the Name Jack and a Jet segment in a previous episode. Speaking of the Name Jack and a Jet segment, we've got that as well, sponsored by Name Jet, and we talk about some domains coming up for auctions, such as SafetyWare.com, LandscapeDesign.com, and Wizard.org. Org. We also talk about a bunch of other stuff, such as Shane's recent retirement from the family plant business, the downturn in the economy, the impact on the Sherpa's domain sales, and some more about the fallout from the FTX situation. We also talk about the next NamesCon, which has been announced for late May and back in Austin, Texas. So let's get ready for that. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can also watch the video version at DomainSherpa.com and on our YouTube channel at DS.TV. You can also listen to the shows on Apple and Spotify and other podcast platforms as well. And as usual, big shout out to Dan.com, the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors. With that, it's now time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. So let's go. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. J on, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, a.k.a. Mr. So Fresh and So Clean. And I'm the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become more successful investors ourselves. These are the experts. There are four segments to a Domain Sherpa review. One is the grand opening. That's where I intro the Sherpas. We see what's going on with them. We talk about some stuff related to domains, maybe unrelated. You know, we'll try to keep it on point today. We've got a bit of a hard stop coming up. Then segment two, we've got the domain game. And that's where we hear about what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses. We keep scoring. Eventually, someday, maybe we'll get some swag to the winner. Segment three is Name Jet Gonna Jet, sponsored by our friends at Name Jet. And that's where we review a list of domains coming up for auction on Name Jet. See what the Sherpas like, what they don't like. Shane, I see I see that Sherpa shirt or that uh, Name Jet shirt. A I just realized I'm, all this weightlifting starting to make me look like Henry Rollins. I like I it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm like my my traps are like starting to get a little. I gotta. I might have to tone it down a little bit. Oh, you know. Well, hey, you know, you gotta to keep the fan mail from coming in from all the ladies. You know what I mean? That watch the show. Guys, like, that's that guys. wasn't even a humble brag. That was no, he no, legit was like, know. he's like, I don't I'm think so anybody's ever now. said. I sure hope I look like. Henry I'm like Rollins. Henry fucking Rollins. Henry yeah. Rollins, man. I dig it, though. <laughs> you're not wrong, though. He's not wrong. Uh, for those of you who are only listening and not watching, you're missing out on on, on Shane's lats, his traps, and his this is, yaps. This is you know let's, see, let's see the guns. <laughs> the guns are starting to get huge. Yeah. Oh, look at exactly. that. One ticket to the gun show. <laughs> yeah, if you're not watching this show. Without, you're without throwing out. the show off too much. Oh, look at that. Braden's been in the gym, too. Oh, Braden snap. What's going Braden, on here, Braden? everybody? Yo. Oh, wow. Braden. Popping Braden off. The guns. Popping off here on Sherpa. <laughs> We're talking, we're going to have the rock. We're going to have the rock healthy up in mind, here. Healthy mind, healthy body, healthy portfolio. There you That's go. Right. Healthy That's body, right. healthy mind, healthy portfolio. I like it. And then the last segment, but certainly not least, is grand closing. That's where we'll discuss anything we haven't covered already. Uh, going on in the domain space, looking at the market trends, current events, allowing our guests to talk about, promote anything that they want to talk about that we haven't already discussed. So what we will not be talking about in grand closing is everybody, how everybody's doing in the gym because we're covering that now. You know what I mean? So that will not be in segment four. But, uh, you know, all good, man. All good. I'm glad everybody's, you know, out here just, you know, pumping iron, living their best life, making it happen. Uh, let me go ahead and introduce the Sherpas over to my right. I got my boy Shane Culture, a.k.a. Sugar Shane, a.k.a. Honey Shane, a.k.a. Mike Rowe, a.k.a. Blame It on the Shane. I'm not going to go through all of them. Drew told me I got to start cutting down on the AKAs. He's like, AKA the culture vader, AKA blue oyster culture, AKA the culture personality, AKA the culture club, AKA doing it for the culture, AKA insane in the membrane, AKA horticulture, AKA in the gym. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like jungle AKA gym. Henry rolling with the homie. 
<laughs> Henry Rollins with the homies. I like it. Um, so what's up, man? Well, you know, speaking of rolling with the homies, um, yeah. you know, uh, you, a lot of stuff happening with you, man. You rolling, doing a lot of different things. I mean, I know you're making some changes. You got some things going on. We got to talk. I know we got, and we got Christmas coming up. We got, we got honey popping off on beehouse.com. Yeah. I just got mine. Uh, I got the coda honey. What, what else is going on? No, I, I retired from the nursery after 27 years. I decided that, ladies and gentlemen, that means that Shane will no longer be able to say to y'all, like, this is just my hobby. You yeah. know, I, I run this nursery. <laughs> no full time job running that nursery. Yeah, you'll see some. That's over. Know, it's, That's over. Without getting too, you know, too many details, it's just 27 years of working, um, weekends and working all those hours in retail that people aren't working and then doing all this side stuff something had to give like you know you don't want to ever go into life saying what if i did this or what if i stopped and did that and the nursery's in good hands there's 40 something employees my brother's doing a good job it's time to let them do it and me answer those questions i want to i want to build something you know we're all going to decide what that is but i think i got lots of talents to bring to the table i'm at the perfect age um it's time to do something and build another company uh on my own i was doing it i was living out the dream of my father but it was my dream too you know but it's a family business it's fifth generation you're always under that wing so uh, i'm i'm really happy it's been an incredible three weeks it's just absolutely i'm not gonna tell everybody to go out there and retire because a lot of domain people are already on their own but it's it's a really good feeling (laughs) to just be able to have the world in front of you so yeah and I'm That's so excited, honey. man. That's my fun too. I love, I love porn. I was pouring honey all night. Like I'll do that no matter what. It's, it's a, uh, it's a great hobby. Keeping bees and and pouring honey and selling honey. But yeah, that's where I'm at. So <laughs> I mean, when he said I love porn honey, honey, I'm like, you love. You. I'm like, what's porn honey? Because that's the some porn. next shit that I'm not <laughs> that's aware another of. Another thing, I probably have more time for that. Too, <laughs> I'm like, what are you? Stuff. You know, you diving into some. You you branching out for real. You see, that you just came a new idea. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah um, that wouldn't even be original, man. We had we had some great ideas for some, you know, the next phase of NFTs. We're gonna get the world of women, and we're gonna turn it into some like real vulgar fucking, you know. <laughs> you we're know, gonna have the the wrong kind of legacy. From, yeah. <laughs> it's like hey, oh, JT, shit. Re- bring this in. It's a family yeah. show. It is yeah, a family right. show. All right, let's t- tighten it up. Um, no, but uh, hey, Shane. So speaking of the honey, what's good? Like, uh, you know, what's? Uh, I just got the coda, the hot coda honey, the which is yeah. fantastic. What else is? Uh, so one of the things that I, I you remember, you guys all supported me a lot with the Colonel White and for honey NFT drop. Yeah, well, yeah. If you go to nifty um, niftyperks.io and and bring your token over there, you okay. Can sign up, and I'm going to. Is this a token? Pick. You, that you have the token in your thing. I was going to have to do that for you. You literally can just <laughs> sign up to Nifty Perks or you just give me just give me somebody's address and I'll send you over this two by three poster, some hot honey, little gift box, a shirt. Oh, wow. Let's so go. Like, that means we, all right. We'll put we the link. We'll put the link. What do I do? We'll put the send link in the link. description to P-E-R-K-S.io. P-E-R-K-S dot I-O. And yeah, then sure you don't sign your wallet that has that. Nifty that, Perks. Um, that has the Colonel White and for NFT in it. And then you just put in your address. Okay. So that's mm-hmm. nifty perks, N I F T Y P E R K S dot com. Or I'm sorry, dot IO. Dot IO. Yeah. And then go yeah. and uh, connect your wallet that's got yeah. your white Super and fur NFT. Size. It's built by West Coast NFTs. It did the doodles. So those guys are legit. Oh, legit, legit. Okay, and great. That for me. And again, thanks to Pearl and the team at west coast nfts for doing that for free for me but it's just to thank like this how the world works man you guys bought that helped me fund the bee house i used that money to start the company and now i'm going to pay everybody back and give them a little thank you for it all right love it love it let's go go. all right and we'll put the link on the uh on the description for the show as well and then uh, is there honey just beehouse.com i'll have gift boxes i got Great new squeeze bottles. Everybody said I love the honey, but it gets a little messy in that jar. So I put it in the squeeze bottles, and it's easy to go. And yeah, yeah, I love this. Oh, I got honey the- should only ever be given in a squeeze. I bottle. know, but it just displays really nice in that bottle. But you're right, functionally, it should always be. In I do, bottle. I do love the glass bottle because it in it the 
Bottle feels like a hive, right? It has the yeah. hive design. Kind I, of I credit that to Richard Ryan. I've become friends with him. He started Black Rifle Coffee and we we talk all the time on business. And he's, I sent him something. He goes, man, I love it. But from a marketing standpoint and a packaging, you got to go to the squeeze bottle. And he hooked me up with where to go to get it and do all the things. And uh, and one label, that's the other thing. People don't think about production. Like that's just not something we do. But he's like, you're putting three labels on that thing you need to get one label so you've spent a lot less time putting on labels and wrapping oh yeah well that's and that's from nfts my friend you know people say well nfts are worthless sometimes you meet people because of certain things that you share and nfts have i met so the nft doodle guys like those guys are brilliant so smart and and richard ryan and you know carson yeah, yeah. a lot of great people out when there. he's There's in our really uh, that apes uh we're in that apes fantasy football league which you're currently yeah. in first place that's man like a like, billion, that's like a billion dollars of wealth in that league i don't know if you've ever <laughs> researched the people in there but yeah. it's literally a, a billion dollar league oh man i'm currently in fourth place but i've scored the most points and i was like i literally didn't even have a winning record until like two two weeks ago so it's like Who's i'm ready to make league? You are currently winning that league yeah, at the yeah, at yeah. the moment. We'll see though. Playoffs have yeah. to happen still. Like let's go. Nine and two, baby. <laughs> it was auto draft, so we, none of us can say like you know. That's like it's like your mom picking out your girlfriend and saying you got the hottest girl in town. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know if she is, she is. You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna? You know it is. It, thanks, mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, all good, man. Well, look, I, I'm excited. I mean, obviously, you know, we've had offline conversations and I, I you know, I can't wait to see what this next chapter is going to be for you. And I think I'm excited for you. I'm excited to be in your orbit during all this stuff. And uh, yeah, but and also too, to echo the piece about the NFTs, I mean, look, part of like even the Board ABI Club, I mean, it is a membership and an exclusive club, right? Which, which is supposed to provide you all the, we, you know, it provides those perks of membership, including the, you know, the ape fest and when they get the physical location and all the other kinds of stuff, it's like, you know, it's not just about the pictures themselves. Um, although but listening to Drew, opportunity. like that's although, all opportunity well, has to be taken. You can have an ape and nothing comes of it. But if you use that opportunity to meet people, that's what it's all about. Oh, there's a lot of that. All the alpha groups. Yo, been, Billy, been, fast forward JT at the fucking, November 2022. He's still stuck in June 2021. <laughs> you, need, you need to fast forward his ass, Billy. <laughs> He's like, yo, uh, we are no some crumbs on the ground. Like, there are no more rainbows. There are no more <laughs> unicorns. The unicorns yeah. are dead. Me, the rainbows are gone. Let me see you talking rainbows and butterflies. See oh, that's what it. Rainbows and butterflies. That's it. Yeah, that's right. So, that's anyway. Right. All right. Well, cool. So, behouse.com. Get to niftyperks.io. A lot going on there. And, yeah, uh, all right, cool. I'm, I'm, I got more bandwidth. You're going to see a lot more of me around. Yeah, no. It's Good exciting stuff, man. A lot of fun. So, all right. Well, look. Let's keep going around the horn, and we'll eventually talk about some actual domains. You know what I'm saying? So, let's <laughs> go down to my lower right. We got the boss. Andrew Rosner, a.k.a. Morpheus, a.k.a. the Dirk Diggler, Digital Assets, a.k.a. Bob Lee Swagger, the Sniper, a.k.a. Drew. Drew got what I need, a.k.a. every Rosner has its thorn, a.k.a. never going to give Drew up, a.k.a. Graybeard, the Domain Pirate, a.k.a. Cancel Adams. What's up, man? <laughs> With a.k.a. Rainbows and Butterflies. Let's go. <laughs> no, Mr. No. Ice of Weed. <laughs> yeah, he's like Mr. Yeah. Weed right now. Like, boom, boom, boom. Click, click. I'll take it. Click Weath, click Weath. I'm going to offer Weath on one of his great domains, and he'll just be like, oh, I should take that. Yeah, he's like, he's already in the habit. He's already clicking. Click, clack, baby. Let's no, I, I just want to turn, you know. Yeah, turn JPEGs into real into real money, into, did, into yeah, other digital it. assets. You know? Yeah, turn that shit into, you know, things that are on the, uh, uh, you know, table of elements. <laughs> <laughs> let's go i like that that's actually pretty really, really dope um all right yeah man turn to turn jpegs into or even jpegs into domains man you know what i mean there's uh, trying to turn electrons into atoms dog there you go oh all right all right yeah somebody though some science somebody who's with an actual like science background is going to be like well actually it's what you're doing is turning da -da -da, you know but um and that's not me. I'm not even smart enough to even make a joke about it. You know what I'm saying? So I just stopped. I just stopped talking. But uh, all right. Well, that's what? what's up. Did you say you're going to stop talking? Well, about that. Brady's like, Brady's like, what you're doing is actually just turning me from bored into angry. <laughs> <laughs> bored into extra bored. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's let me go and introduce the board. 
the, the, the board ape to below me. We got my boy Braden Pollock, aka Tony Stark, aka Benjamin Button, aka Eat Bray Love, aka Braden Statham, <laughs> aka Braden Pollock, and the Archduke of Calabasas, who's not actually from Calabasas, aka Bray Den of Iniquity. It's not that your domain is worthless, it's just that it's worth less. less. You know what I'm saying? So, what's up, man? How are you? All good. All good. Just got back from a little vacation. Okay. Where'd you guys got go? Europe, Europe, went to Paris, went to Budapest for about a week. Budapest. I like how you even drive. I've been in Budapest. Paris at least two Budapest. times. Let's go. I've seen the Eiffel. I've seen the Eiffel. Yeah. Let's go. Uh-huh. All right. Cool. Man. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. You know, I mean, you know, Shane, did I should wait. Did you eat some, some goulash? I did. I did. It's good. Goulash. You, have, you have a choice. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually pretty good. What what is in goulash? Like it's, it's goulash. You know what? It, it, it's it's a branding. Problem. I can't spell they, it, but it's a great great. If thing. they if they just called it like bean stew, <laughs> I think more people it would sound better. Is What's that what goulash is? I thought there was meat in it. Better? Isn't there um, meat in it? Not not the oh vegan not for kind. you. They have vegan <laughs> not versions? the vegan kind. Yeah, you know what I'm was saying. That ever an issue? Was that ever was that- an issue finding food like? When you ate, did you like skip some no. meals because you couldn't find? No. <laughs> First of all, I never skip meals. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, actually, Budapest is like any other cosmopolitan city, like tons of vegan restaurants all over the place. Mm. All right. Shout out to Budapest. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. all right. Well, that's what's up. But I should say we should have left you for last because you just had so much more to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So by the time I got to Drew and Braden, they're just like, yeah, you know, mm. do a little traveling. Selling some NFTs, you know what I'm saying? Shane's got like all sorts of life changing shit happening. So you think Drew's not gonna be talking later? Come on. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, all right. We finally have an hour through this whole thing. That's true. We do. We we have a hard stop in an hour from now, almost like to the to the minute. So all right, well, let's slide into the domain game. So the domain game, that's where the the Sherpas are gonna talk about a name that they recently bought or sold. The other Sherpas are gonna guess on the price, and then ultimately we're gonna get some swag to the winner. So uh now, Shane, you were saying, do you not have a buy sell? Like, I got nothing. I, I've had a three weeks to uh, transition in business where I really haven't even paid attention to domains at all, unless it came through and I got an offer. I was not out actively buying or selling. Right. I, got, that's, that's... I literally didn't look at any of it, other than going <laughs> through the drop list like every day. I go. My man is like list living list his best people. life. He's like, man, these last three weeks, he's like, I've been showing. Ah. Just, uh... I've had, I've had more me i've had like 40 meetings of people that once they found out i had open bandwidth just want to talk and yeah. that's it that made me feel good like yeah yeah people let's just so i took my wife was like you 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 were the next day you're off work all you're doing is meeting people like people from the past like we talked i don't know if you saw howard Lindsay. i haven't worked with howard Lindsay and fred wilson from union square in like 14 years and all of a sudden they're like dude hit me up yeah dude, yeah I see you're not working now. <laughs> That's it. People are like, oh, you're not working. Let me give you something to do. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's all good. How can I, how can so we work I, together to make, game, so I can I, make money? That's going to change though. That's going to change. I got, I got to hit that. I got to make some money now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, <laughs> I need a paycheck. Christmas <laughs> trees aren't paying. The, I still own the company, but I'm pretty sure they're going to figure out the tax to where we don't make a penny now. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you they don't have, have con- as much out. control. Do you still get to, like, are you going to go to board meetings and stuff? Like, what's... Uh... I, t- I withdrew from the board. I don't want any part of that. Oh, like, wow. Um, so you're like... I've, I talk to my brother every day and help him. And I, I gave him an eight-quarter business plan. I already wrote one out for myself. Mm-hmm. And so I just gave it to my brother and said, here's what I'm thinking over the next eight quarters. This is what I think the economy is. Here are the profit centers I think we need to attack. Here's the things we need to hold back on. And I just sent him that, like... I, I like to write down what I'm thinking. And since I'm not going to be doing it, I might as well give it to someone that is. So oh, that's, that's cool. So I, is it older brother or younger brother? Yeah, He's only a year younger, but he's got a nine-year-old, an eight-year-old, and a three-year-old. So a oh, so. little different life. Yeah, yeah. Still <laughs> still have yeah. to get it, you know. He's got some it. work to do still. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, all right, cool. All right, well, good stuff. All right, domain game. So you don't have to do So let's go to Drew. Drew, you got a buy or a sell? What, what do you got, man? What do you got? Uh... I got to sell. All right. Boom. A sale. I got to sell. Exciting. It looks like he's digging deep into it. Like, like he's putting on a new set of clothes to talk about it or something. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right. What's no, you, you know, I was trying to think if there was a buy. I don't have. I don't think I have a buy. Uh, I'm with Braden. I'm more about the sell. That giving away the buys isn't as fun and it makes it a little harder to sell the name. But I don't have enough sales. I'm buying more than I'm selling. Well, you know, I think that's the interesting point. You know, um, plus when you talk about the sale, you get to talk about what the buy. You know, so you get to kind of break down the whole thing. Yeah. You know, so I think in a way it's almost better. And then you know when you talk about the buy, you know, now you're putting some stuff out in the universe. So when you're going to sell that domain, it's like especially you know, when it's in the head of domain Sherpa's headlines all over the internet that's an interesting point i wonder if we shouldn't start saying like sales only type default to sales or just add a zero to whatever i said why no i don't well just for all the things i just said what do you mean like the the, you know what are you talking about what did you say (laughs) (laughs) oh man this is gonna be this is a good one this is a good one (laughs) great we're doing great here everybody Um, oh all right so should i tell you freaking domain name Let's yeah, go. Ready? That domain. That's Let's the go. best way for us to get domain yeah. show. All right, four Only letters. Four, four letter dot com. F B I N dot com. F B I N dot com. F bin dot com. All right. Hmm. Um, I don't know what we sold this for, so I get to participate, which is cool. Um. So. Um, all right. Pull up the calculator. Oh, that's how we oh. do it. Remember with the calculator? Okay, hold on. I forget it. So. No, that's a calendar. I'm going to tell you the date. I think he sold it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't find my calculator. It's right down from the top right corner. I I I put all my um I put these new fancy big widgets on my phone now, and it's oh my gosh I can't, I really can't find it. Oh my god! Do you have a pen, Grandpa? Can you... <laughs> oh, it doesn't show up. Okay. All right, here we go. Does everybody? Let me know when y'all are ready. Okay. All right, three, two, one, turn. All right. Well, Shane, you, and I can't see you. Shane, did you really break out an old school Shane, calculator? Shane, your shit is awesome. like, your shit is. It, it's 11,000. Like, it's 11,000. For those of, you, those of you who are only listening at home, Shane, Shane pulled you know, out. He didn't even pull out like this, this. Everybody's going to want to watch this stuff. Pulled out, Shane pulled out like the Texas Instruments. Like, not, yeah, but not even like the scientific of, calculator one. All right, so here's the range. I've got 7,500, Shane's got 11,000, and braden has got $12,500. So <laughs> that is the range that we have. Shane brought right, out the old Y'all school. are so embarrassing that none of y'all should win. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay, good. That's good news. Well, that Braden, I like that. Good for the company. Technically, Braden is the closest, but he's so <laughs> far off. That like I'm, I, I honestly don't feel comfortable saying he's the winner here. We're about to get cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. This is that's good news. Then that's really good news. Okay. So, right. so the sale price was forty nine thousand dollars. Damn. Wow. Let's go. Let's go, Drew. Yeah, that's good. That's good for me. I'm excited. Wow. I'm super. Surprisingly excited. high. That is yeah. a, that is a great number Thanks on that domain. That's awesome. So, <laughs> what can you tell us about the buyer and uh, or the process and how you sold it, or what can you? Well, tell us? the domain. So, guy came in hot, twenty thousand offer. Oh, uh, you know, basically the name has traffic and it made quite a bit of money parking. So it was one I was very comfortable to sit on forever. Um. And, um, you know, there was a whole bunch of different potential end users for it. Um, and, uh, you know, I just stuck to my price, but I didn't have to do it long. It was like basically, you know, $20,000 offer. What's your price? Here's the price, $49,000. They came back. They said, well, you know, can you lower your price? I said, no. <laughs> they said, okay, well, uh, you know. <laughs> Gotta love that. Client was like, client was like, I I don't remember. I don't even think they made a second offer. They just kept asking me if there was a way for me to lower my price. And I said, no, you know, and then they just said, oh, okay. And then they said, okay, well, you know, they put it in escrow and that was it. End of story. All right. 
Dig it. Let's go. So yeah. nice work, man. And uh, well, it's interesting. It's uh, so it's for character.com. I guess my problem is I was thinking more of like what it would sell for on a name jet or like at a like in an after Nick kind of buy it now. Yes, well, that's your problem, isn't it? That is my problem. That's why I don't not. This, that's why I don't <laughs> sell the domains, you know, <laughs> like, that's, you know, because we actually want to make money out here. Um, but um, FBIN, right? I guess it's the, you know, is there when you say there's end users. So bin like is a company's recycling like what is it what's f bin no it's just, a, it just random acronyms for things you know what i mean like okay. federal bureau of internal you know, is internal crisis you know who knows um we could probably use one of those actually um but well yeah um but you said well b-i-n as in nancy right is the last letter yep yeah so well, I was wondering, you know, FB, Facebook, and LinkedIn. I don't know. I'm like uh, trying to figure out, like, you know, like we're going to know soon enough, evidently. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So no, but hey, great sale. That's awesome. How long did you have it, and what'd you what'd you pay for it? Those are complicated questions that I don't have answers for. <laughs> I could actually I have a probably, question. Had I could actually probably I could pull that up in the in the inventory. What? But, you know, I mean, not I'm to trying go to too treat you at arm's length, it. like like you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to trying to. Um, how about a parking? Where, like, do you, where do you park it that you get? Yeah, I don't know revenue? what the price was. It looks like we bought it on Namejet. Okay. Back in 2016. Okay. So there you go. So about six I can tell years. You it wasn't 49,000 at Namejet. No, no. That was, <laughs> so. All right. Well, that's cool. So, you know, six year hold time, you know, DeFi, you know, it's like, where does the yield Listen, come from? Where does the, the yield come I'm, from, Sam? I, I, have, I have found Jesus. <laughs> if you can't answer the question of like, it's exactly like that expression. You're sitting at a poker table playing for 20, 30 minutes. You can't figure out who the patsy is. You're the patsy. If you're looking at your parking earnings every day and suddenly they just keep disappearing. Somebody got that money. You know what I'm saying? It did just like, oh, it became less. No, it's like you got less. Somebody else got more. <laughs> and so, so, you know what I'm saying? It's like Sam Bettman free. Motherfucker raised one point six billion dollars, but he spent two point two buying arenas <laughs> and fucking, you know, supermodels and football players. And it's like, where that where that delta come from? I'll tell you where it came from. My town. That's where it came from. <laughs> oh shit! There's no magical mystery. Sam Bankman black fraud, box baby. Is a mystery. Yeah, no black box is a mystery. That shit's all bullshit. <laughs> Forget about that. That's Sam. for the you know hype cycles. We're beyond the hype cycle. We're in the depths of despair over here. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, just These a magical black box Jesus on this show is amazing. Oof. Drew, Drew, start doing your breathing exercises. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Bankman fraud. He said, "I love that." Is that like when people calling him that? That's that Sam Bankman fraud. That's, That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything else to call the motherfucker? No, hey, no. Nah. Until we can say All that. Right. You know, well, right now he's still a free man. You know what I'm saying? He's just roaming around the Bahamas in his Birkenstocks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. wondering how, like, you know, people, you know, try giving interviews in mainstream media about how, you know, he was just a little too ambitious. You know what I'm saying? He's just, they said that the, you know, uh, the midterms were the highest uh, amount of money raised for the campaigns. I didn't know it was all one person that raised it all. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was bankrolling everybody. I, this is going to get so interesting. You know, it's like, I, I really like the case law on this, like, it's so fascinating. It's like, okay, so let's look at who were the largest recipients of money from FTX over the course of the last you know, six month look back period, like the look back on the clawbacks, right? I'm from a bankruptcy. Let's look at that. It's like, oh, well, let's see. $70 million went to the SEC. Uh, $42 million went to the Democratic Party. I didn't like, know you could give to the SEC. Like, yeah, how do you do Is that? That's do. really a thing? No, I mean, no, 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 no. They find his ass. They find his ass. Oh, uh, okay. okay. But it's interesting. It's like. Claw well, back. Purpose. The purpose of the SEC is to protect investors. Now, the money that was paid, the, the, literally the money that got paid to the SEC to pay that fine, that was my money. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm the Oops. investor. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I didn't commit the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, you took my money. Why don't you, if you want to protect investors, why don't you give that $70 million back to the investors? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> I think that's where that goes. I'm pretty sure 
the best way to protect investors is to give that $70 million back to the estate to distribute to the harmed investors, right? Like, particularly the ones that just had, you know, that actually aren't even, like, unsecured creditors, the ones that just literally deposited their money, you know? But like, that, is, anyway, that so, is a fair point. That is a fair point. That is a great point. 100%. Because, yeah. you know, that's what in bankruptcies, they, they do go after people that received ill-gotten gains, right? Yep. And Yeah, and or so preferential the distributions. Funds, like they basically, they should, yeah. hold on. If the SEC received, received funds that didn't belong to FDX, actually belong to account holders, then the SEC should be forced to give that money back. 100%. Yeah. Now, who wants to take odds on that $70 million going back to the investment. <laughs> I'm going to take the under. I'm going to take the under. <laughs> Let's see what the court says. Well, you know, but it I'm is gonna interesting. I'm going to take the under. I'm taking they, the under. You know, but, you know, because in a bankruptcy, you know, they can, tra- they can look to claw back, you know, distributions made outside of the normal course of business. Although you'd argue that, you know, this was made in the normal course of business because they got a fine, they had to pay it. Right. But I think that, you know, but then to Braden's point, if the funds themselves were stolen or ill gotten in the first place, you know, I mean, cause you're talking about money people put on deposit. This isn't just, Oh, Hey, yeah, like, you know, all right. So I mean, that's what is so crazy. $42 million of Botox from fucking Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton. I mean, if that's no. what they, is that what they spend it on? How do that? You know, that's, you a lot of bo- that's a lot of that's a lot of Botox, man. You know, you saying? ever seen their eyes? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, um, let's see. Wait, that's not a good to... political statement. <laughs> it's like it's not a political statement. <laughs> Remember when for a second it was like, is Drew going to talk today on the show? Is he going to talk? He might just kind of keep to himself. I took the over on that one. Sam Bankman <laughs> fraud, baby. <laughs> Sam Bankman <laughs> fucked. Like that's what it, that's what y'all got. Y'all got Sam Bankman fucked. And With that. Yeah. You know, with that, yeah, exactly. All right, so we got more <laughs> domains to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Yo, can we just talk about one more thing with Sam Bankman fraud? This, this, because this was the best revelation. I love this shit. Like, you know, it, the the entertainment value is almost worth losing the money. But listen, almost. so <laughs> did you guys hear about the bank that he bought a ten percent stake of? Or might yeah. be fifteen percent. Yep, yep. Did what you see that? a picture of the headquarters? Yeah, yeah, it's like a trailer. It's a, it's a shoebox, dude. Yeah. It was a rental shed. It was, <laughs> it was a fucking rental shed. It was a rental three, shed. Three employees. Three, three employees, and they went from like I don't know, sixteen million dollars in management under management to like you know, in the three months prior to FTX's collapse, they had like seven hundred million dollars under management or billion, you know, whatever it was. And it's like they had like three customers, and it's like, oh, who are their three customers? <laughs> and it's like Heather, FTX, and Alameda Research. <laughs> and it's like, wow. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's just fucking so crazy. did they? Co- is, did they? I don't even out? think. I don't think this is this is literally going to like baffle the bankruptcy courts. I don't think there's ever been a bankruptcy this complex. In the history of American bankruptcy courts. Oh, yeah. Well, you look at this dude. It was just like, it was like literally this dude. We're going to replace the whole, like, you know, what what is it? RRR, the the, the words for recycling, reuse. Mm -hmm. uh, You know, it's just going to be replaced with SBF. Reuse, renew, recycle, I think it is. Yeah, it's just SBF. You would know that, Braden. You know what I'm saying? It's like create, you know, (laughs) create money. You reuse the money, recycle the money. You know, like the, the money never left. You know, it's like money keeps coming in, but it never leaves the system. Goes to put to my <laughs> bank, to my thing, to the made up coin I made, to the you know lender over here that I also made up. It's like crazy. Well, it Anyways, is cra- well, I was gonna ask. I thought they- it was pretty wild that like, how is that possible? Like, and all this came from one four letter domain. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Well, you know, so and it is it's re yeah. How reduce, did we even get on that? Reduce, <laughs> reuse, recycle, or the other and the other We uh, own, by the way, rrr.com. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Boom. See? That's it. There, we're ba- and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back to do back all to roads domain. lead to domains. Baby. Lead to all roads, domains. all roads lead to domains. <laughs> all right. So um but yeah, I guess my last question on that. So for that little bank, did they figure out like what the deal was? Was it just them looking to have like a like a? What do you like? What deal? You know what I mean? Like there's no deal. They had, <laughs> what's the 
give us this is like the magical money box. Like, <laughs> like, well, let's go figure out what's going on. It's like there's nothing to figure out. It was a sham. Yeah. They had three customers. They made up money. You know, it's like, do you know who makes money? People talk about the Federal Reserve printing money. Print they money. had more than three customers. They had a hundred. I don't think so. <laughs> no, hundred and sixty. <laughs> the town was like a hundred. There's like hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. about a routing number. And, yeah, a hundred and thirty-two yeah. well, of those were Sam Bankman Fried's companies. Like, there's a hundred and thirty-two companies in the bankruptcy filing. Yeah, the the org chart's crazy. The org chart is, is yeah. pretty, pretty serious. And you know, and they've said, like, look, the way this company was run, like dude John J. Ray, John J. Ray the third, you know, who was the guy brought in from uh, you know, who who had handled the Honestly, Enron. The God's honest truth is that the more details that emerge, the more we all just have to look into the mirror and actually just say, What the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> we all just blindly trusted the fucking goofy clown hair motherfucker. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, look, at he's a genius. Let's just give him all the money in the world. You know, like, <laughs> like oh, shit. Um, anyway, I, there's a lot of looking in the mirror that needs to be done. And just, you know, it's like, look, dude, you probably should die. You know, like, he committed probably the biggest fraud in the world. We should probably get a biography out before we kill him. And then we should all look in the mirror and be like, we have to take a lot of this responsibility because, like, with, you know, there was a lot of very smart people that enabled this fool. Like, yes, like, yeah. you know, it, it takes two. Yeah. And we put on the tango shoes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. A lot of truth there. But anyway, um, and, and look, and, you know, whether or not he survives or not, we're not. You know, we're not promoting any violence on Sam Bank. That was fraud. in jest, everybody. All jokes. All no, jokes. That was just speculation on what will likely happen. That wasn't promoting <laughs> yeah, that yeah, it yeah. should. No, it's going to be. I'll take the uh, over on it. Yeah. <laughs> take the over on that. <laughs> I'll take the six feet under on that, actually. Um, <laughs> all right. Yo, on that note, with that, all that stuff, all my segues, I'm throwing them all in the fucking pile right now. We're moving on to the next name. We're going to Braden. Do you have a buy or a sell? We are still in the domain game. What do you got, man? What's up? Oh, I didn't know we're still doing this. Um, <laughs> oh, is this is this still domain Sherpa? Yeah. Um, hey, man. Hey, we covered, we covered we okay. covered all. So, Cover so the bad news is I have not sold anything for like three months. Wah, wah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, wait, wait, hold I don't on. Is this lot. not the guy? Hold on, just for the record, <laughs> this is the guy. On the last time you were on the show, saying how you had all these big deals teed up. Yeah. You're making me feel bad because I didn't have any big deals teed up. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, is it just me? You know, because Brady sounds so confident that these big deals are going to close. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I lost my touch. And I'm thinking to myself, I get offline. I'm talking to JT. And I'm like, man, fuck that. I, none of them deals are going to close. We are in the depths of hell. And deals are falling out of escrow. People are, you know, suddenly disappearing. There's no, there's no money. Nobody's spending. Those deals aren't closing. Fucking, you got Andrew Bloviation Miller, and you got Braden <laughs> Bragger, and these dudes is talking about big deals that are in the pipeline are going to close, and I felt bad. Look, look. But I was Thank right. For more so on how right. to win friends and influence others, <laughs> read, read the book. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm like, yo. Like you got to take take this up with your therapist. Like I've told you offline, I'm like you can only tell talk this to me about is, so much, I don't Drew. Need you know what I'm the main like, Sherpa is my therapy session. It is, it is, and it's all good. We're all friends but, here. It's listen, all love. I actually like bloviation aside. This is a legitimate point because I'm being 100 percent honest. <laughs> I actually felt bad. I was like, man, this dude is Brain, just knocking out what deals. He actually, I Brain, did. you had, well, a, you had him spun up, man. Guy. He's like, how's Braden doing all these deals? We're not doing any deals. It was it was rough. Yeah, was rough. I was feeling a certain way, and JT's like, "Oh, you know, no, nah, you know, he, those deals are really going to happen." I'm like, "Those deals told, aren't happening." <laughs> I told Braden to say nothing went through, so that you felt better. So, he really closed. <laughs> Braden's like, "What? Deals. Why did I come back from Budapest?" <laughs> He's like, "I came back to Budapest early uh, from All Budapest right. early for All this." Right. All right. So, so Anyways, 7. Braden, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to think I don't want you to think that I don't want those deals to close because I do. I support my friends. I want to see my friends succeed. But it feels good to be right. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that you were able to get that off your chest. Oof. I hope I feel that like we, you're yeah. feeling a sense of relief now. Um, so as I was saying, <laughs> I haven't sold anything in three months. I had I had five deals that were like in negotiation. Yeah. Three of them in the seven figures, two in the six figures. And like we were going back and forth. I had I had three offers that were around two million bucks with three different names between one one point seven five and two point two five. And I was you know just trying to get more, and nothing. All of them went away. Every single deal went away. Now hopefully they'll come back. I don't mm-hmm. know, but everybody got cold feet. It's uh, it's bad out there. Although it's a wild I'm buying, world out there. I'm I'm buying. So yeah. I am too. I'm I'm buying too, but very selectively. And yeah. it's you know, listen, there's only like four of us that actually buy domains like at the upper level. Like it's time to play hardball with all these people. Like it's we now it's our job, our turn to be in the driver's seat. For the last three, four years, you know, these sellers have been in the driver's seat. And now it's like, I'm gonna name my price and you can take it or leave it. End of story. But I'm not playing these games anymore. It's like, well, I'm speaking, name well, oh, oh, that's good. Speaking of playing games, we're actually in the middle of a game. This is the domain game, and it's turned into therapy session, turned into a whole lot of other shit. What do what you are have? You talking about this is like business <laughs> advice and, and no, it guidance. Is. It's all good, man. It's all good. And you know what? I bet a lot of our listeners were sitting there feeling bad about themselves at home, thinking Braden's knocking out seven figure sales and the world's burning, you know? Yeah, I'm not well, the only one. I mean, I even see, look, Elliot Silver, like Elliot posted something a couple, maybe a month ago saying, hey, you know, when I said I was co- fine, not doing another, making another sale for the rest of the year, I was just kidding. Well, you ever seen, you ever seen Elliot's, se- you know, domains like, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, I love yo, you, Elliot. It's yo, all good. Sells, just Drew does, is like, does, Drew is literally like, like turned into, he's a machete today, man. He's just clearing <laughs> anything in front of him. It's like, boom, boom, boom. He's like going through the jungle, like Jason Voorhees, like, like pissed off um all right so what do you get you got to buy or sell though so you don't have a sell so you got to buy i have a sell so i'll do a buy uh right. from, from i'm not gonna do one of my recent purchases but i'll do one from a few months back sure um here's one demeanor.io Ooh. you know i, I dabble I've been, I've been trying to dabble in these ios pick up a few See how they do. Well, you know, demeanor, Drew's got, Drew's got some to sell. We tried to make that happen on the last show mm-hmm. with uh, Josh. And uh, all right, so demeanor being D E M E A N O R, right? The tra- in the traditional spelling, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Dot I O, like um, Missy Miss Demeanor. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Elliot. Exactly. Um, like all good right. demeanor. All right, so let me get. That's how people mostly describe me. Mm-hmm. That's that's your nickname. Just it's just doesn't make it to the end of the intro. <laughs> he always tells Billy to cut it offline. You yeah, know what I'm it's cut off. Yeah, don't give me a bad reputation. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, the demeanor king. All right, you got your Texas Instruments. Oh, Shane, I got, got no, 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 no. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Oh, oh nice, good. nice. All right, here we go. Drew. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Demeanor. All right, demeanor dot io. Demeanor dot io. Watch how far this pendulum is going to swing. <laughs> yeah. Means outward behavior or bearing. Such as All right, ready? Somber demeanor. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Shane. Shane turns the light on. Grandpa, turn shit. your flashlight off. It's like I said yeah. at uh, NamesCon when uh, Rick <laughs> couldn't get his shit Grandpa, together. Grandpa, cut like, your toenails. You're tearing the sheets. <laughs> it's like my dad trying to log into the All Christmas, right, the holiday Zoom. All right. All right. Okay, so, so for those got- of you at home listening and not watching, we've got Shane with $855, me with 2500 bucks, and Drew at $3,888 for demeanor.io. Okay. So, so this, the story is um, somebody brought me demeanor.com. And one of the things that I do when I look at stats is I look at not just what um, other extensions have been registered, but what's happening with them. And uh, so I look up all the top extensions. Healing back the onion. And um, 
and Demeanor.io was not registered. So I hand registered it. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Look at that. Well, I win so, is what we're saying. The shame and I did wins. not buy I did not buy the dot com, but I registered, <laughs> hand registered the IO. So it. times are Mr. tough out here. Ultra, so. I like it. <laughs> wins. Um, all right. Well, dope. Okay. Wait, so wait, hold up. Wait, this was a buy, not a sell? This was a, a buy. Buy hand register. Oh my god, I thought this was a sell. I would have put oh. zero. No. Well then, then then you should have been listening. <laughs> we just had you just gave a speech on no sales for three months. Remember that whole thing? Oh man. Oh. Yeah. And you lost your mind about how how I had all the these. The positive is up. Drew has more to give because he's not giving it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right. So Shane with the point. All right, cool. So all right, well, let's get to some kind of a conclusion here of the domain game so we can slide into the next the next thing. Um all right. So um all right, let's do this. Well, actually, I gotta make sure I have an idea on a couple of things. Um that you know, that is a good point though. Like when you look and buy a good name and you see the other ones aren't registered, does it always mean it's not a good name? It just means, you know, sometimes they like when I bought in crypto, yeah, it's not, crypto it's not it's not worth less. It's just worth less. Yeah. <laughs> it's not worth less. It's just worthless. Um, all right. So were any of you guys involved? <laughs> Sometimes it goes the other way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> were you guys anyone involved in the Qatar.net auction on Namejet? No. I wanna because I'm gonna well, you know by, to, by involved, what do you mean? Mean like no, do you I, know what the price was, what it sold for? No, no. All I right, think look, it was like it's so more. Oh, oh, stop! Don't say anything. Oh. That's the whole point. I'm trying to like, since we don't have another oh. name, I'm going to throw one out there from Namejet that we talked about previously, and see who can get the closest to see if we can get to a winner on today's show. So, um, Qatar.net. Hmm. What do you all think it sold for on Namejet? Since and the reason I bring it up is because we're in the middle of the World Cup, uh, so I think it's timely. Uh, we talked about it in under that same sort of context. This is .net. Uh, country domain, yeah. and uh, let's see what uh, let's see where y'all are at. You are right, so game today. Throw it, throw it on your phone, Braden, before anyone looks and sees what it's. You I, know. I can't because my phone is restarting. So let me just write it down. All right. Ah, uh, you want to like borrow this. my calculator? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that'd be pretty cool if somehow you he had the same version. You can make it look like you're handing it to him. Through <laughs> no, the ready? He wasn't right, even bored. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. So we've got 4,300 for Shane, 6,500 for Braden, and Drew at 17, what is that, 888? Um, all right. Yeah. So the winner is Drew, which now is going to create a three-way tie, so that means we're going to have to do another round. The winner is Drew. It actually sold for $26,000. Oh it sold God. for $26,000. So yeah, yeah, I just remember when I, when I looked last, I was in the auction, but I, I wasn't seriously bidding past like five grand. And then um, – I remember seeing it like twelve or something. I was like, "Whoa!" Well, so he so, definitely had well, he he had some inside information, but yeah, we did not have. Uh, that's a little killing weird. me, man. You can't be like you know. All right, that's why I said, "Were y'all involved?" He's like, you know, and it, I thought the answer was no. Well, y'all is tripping if you think you're going to get a, a country dot net for like, you know, one of the largest oil producing countries in the world, richest well, motherfuckers in the world. And like and in the middle of the world. Cup. So what do you guys think of I mean twenty twenty six K? I mean, that's pretty significant. I thought that was uh, you know, um was interesting. All right, so let me pull one more since now we officially have a three way tie at the top. Um, There's this old saying, a fool and his money will be quickly parted. Yeah, no, i I'm familiar. I'm familiar with that. Not quite the um, saying, but that's what it is. All right, let's see if there's <laughs> what is the saying <laughs> then? What's the exact saying? Are soon parted. Oh yeah, I assume part is money. Right. You're right. Parted. Um, all right, so I'm gonna pull another one. Actually, before I do that, so I had a request from a a uh, a viewer, right? Um, quit someone saying our nicknames. Long, yeah. long time listener, first time caller. Yeah, long time listener, first time uh, Twitter DMer. Uh, Laguna Domains. He uh, said he wanted us to talk about a domain. So he's got beautycare.tv. Beautycare.tv. Um, and uh, to get a sense of what we think that would, if you had that name in your portfolio, what would you be selling it for? And um, I, mean, I thought that was interesting enough. And I said, you know I, I don't want to be rude, but I wouldn't have it in my portfolio. I, I would, if it was in my portfolio, I would drop it. You would yeah, dro- it's you- a liability. Let it drop. Let it go. Renewals on TVs aren't cheap, and that's a liability. All right, it's so. not. It's not worth less. It's worthless. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Well, all right. So that Braden was said it, not me. <laughs> All right. Hey, look, I told him, I said, that's you know, the truth, man. We're just going to be straight up. That's what we do here. And the truth yeah. is that domain is worthless and <laughs> worthless. All right. Well, you know, and I did say, Hey man, you know, I can't control what anyone's going to say, but I'm happy to bring it up. And I like that. I like it as you know, a vibe. Listen, you know, here's the deal. Even if it was beauty.tv, like that domain has value, but how much are we talking? Right? Like what it's would beauty.tv sell for? Like, like, you know, liquid, it's worth a grand or two, you know, uh, maybe three. And like to an end user, five, 10 X that. So beauty care TV, you know, your wildest dream is that domain is worth a few hundred dollars. Even beauty care, even beauty care.com is not that great. Like exactly. That's care. a five, five figure name to an end user. Okay. Look, I, I had, I had a handful of one word TVs. And I, I like I had rebates.tv. I dropped, I had a bunch of, of names that I ha- don't have him. I still own rewards.tv, attorneys.tv, and lawyers.tv, which are decent, right? Mm-hmm. No inquiries. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I've had them for, a tough I've had those for like 12 years. We've got dl.tv, S, uh, uh, ds.tv. We've got probably three or four two letter.tvs. We've got, yeah. Weed.tv. Weed.tv. That domain's had like three inquiries in the 15 years I've had it. Like, there's no, no, no. no. Well, and I think that's an interesting point. There's no no there. Speaking of, there's no no there. Speaking of DS.tv, if you actually go to DS.tv, that takes you to our YouTube channel where you can catch all the past episodes of Domain Sherpa, so, which is the largest library of domain-related podcast content in the world available for free. So that's ds.tv, speaking of .tv domain names. So, all right, well, then I'm going to do one more from the name jet bucket. Brayden and I, not age. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just You guys going backwards. Like I said, that's why I call Braden Benjamin Button, man. You guys are just looking better and better, man. I got I to gotta hit the gym like y'all, you know? So, I mean, I work out a lot, but obviously not enough. Um, plus my, my sugar addiction is, is a problem, you know, you're and, not liftless. You just lift less. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I actually, I love that. You're not liftless. You just lift less. Um, all right. So one more from the name jet bucket and then we're going to close up because it's a three-way tie right now. So this is whoever wins. This is going to win the game. Nobody look at their computer or any of this kind of stuff. We're going with VIP dental, which was a name we talked about a lot on a prior show. VIP dental. Give me a number. Let's make it quick. This is going to be the winner of today's domain game. Let's go. VIP Dental, which, uh, you know, I remember we spoke highly of this name. We all liked it. I don't know what the price was that everybody thought that they liked it for, but this is what it went for. Ready? Three, two, one. Show me the number. Show me the money. All right. We've got Drew at 888. We've got Shane at 3,500. And we've got Braden at 4,500. Yeah, I can see your ring light. It actually is like right in the middle, like a bullseye. All right. And the winner is of today's domain game for VIP Dental. It is going to be Shane because the name sold for 2,800 bucks. And uh, so VIP Dental, because again, when we talked about it on the show, we liked it. What do you guys, um, what do you think? What do you think about that as a price on NameJet? I mean, I actually think that considering how high some names can sell for, VIP Dental, which to me has a lot of end user potential appeal, you know, probably in that ten to fifteen range, selling three K is that a decent name jet price? What do you guys think? No, I mean, I, look, forty five hundred. I think is, I mean, that's what I guessed, which, which I thought was a ridiculous number. I think even twenty eight hundred is too, it's too high, just because you got to sit on it for a while, mm-hmm. and what kind of multiple are you going to get for it? It's, it, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely a ten thousand dollar name, mm-hmm. but. You're going to triple your money and then be taxes on that. Like there's, mm-hmm. there's, not, there's not enough, there's not enough like juice. There. There's, there's not Preach. enough there, there. Right. And that's, that's the problem is that people are like, Oh man, if I could, if I could triple my money, it's like all, all the, the Sherpa said, I could triple my money. I'm going to go buy. Well, no, like there's not enough margin. You you need to sit on this. You have a 1% yeah. sell through rate, one and a half percent sell through rate. It's going to take yeah. you 10 years to sell this name. And you need a 10x. It's not going to work if you're if you're shooting for three x if three x because okay. you're not going to sell next month. That's All the right. problem. Everybody's overpaying. That's it. That's a great point. Look at you. That's preach, Braden. Preach. Um, yeah. All right. Well, good stuff. So that's the domain game. Today's winner, Honey Shane. You know, which is great because he's been. You know, now that he's retired. Yeah. It's you know, cash what I'm prize, right? 
<laughs> exactly. You're like, how much is that swag worth? Just send me a check. Yeah. It's all I mean, good. Venmo me. Where can I sell the sweatshirt? Get me on my cash app. Um, all right. So, uh, so that's what's up. So Shane, the big winner on the domain game, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to jump to a commercial and then we're going to be right back here on domain Sherpa where all roads lead to domains. We're going to name Jack in a jet, baby. We'll be right back. Media options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. We just came off of a big win for Sugar Shane, Honey Shane, and the Domain Game. Domain Game, Honey Shane. Boom. Bringing it home. Bring the pain. All right. Now we're going to slide into, to, I don't know, guys. Like, I'm just trying to keep up a certain level of energy and excitement here. You know, y'all y'all going off on your tangents. Now, you you know, like, I'm like, Wolfman Jack. Let's get it. All right. So, name Jack and a Jet. Let's make it happen. Let's talk about some names going up for auction. Um, you know, go to the website. We've got the list of today's list. Um, you know, and like I say, on every show, it talks about, you know, with how many back orders as of the date that we air the show, how many days left in the in the back order uh, period before the domains go to auction. All these are expiring domains, uh, which means that in order to participate, they're going to be private auctions. You got to get a back order in by the end of the back order deadline. So uh, I think there's maybe one or two that are, are going to be closing out today as of the date that we're actually airing the show. So, um, you know, if you're interested, go get your back orders in. So, um, and that's what's bird? Good. It's good. I don't know. I didn't know what that was. No, nah, it's my damn dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who's, claiming, who's claiming that who's claiming that nah, dog dog is barking i was put you know what it is i was supposed to walk the dog earlier and i forgot uh <laughs> <laughs> he's having himself a day out here he's our, he's you know what i mean he's, he's listen like, i got a lot on my plate today all right you know <laughs> <laughs> he's like that's it he's like you gonna have to deal dog um all right so we got the list of names we got we got some experts here to talk about it. Check out the list. You can go grab that from the actual post on domainsherpa.com uh, where you have I feel like the, the word experts an insult these days. What's that? I think expert is an insult these days. Well, it's a yeah. purported expert, but nah, you guys, you know, you guys talk, walk, walk the walk, man. You walk the talk, walk the talk. That's what it is. Um, all right. I'll well, Drew, going. let's start I'll with do. you. Let's, yeah. Okay. Then we'll know how much oh. time we have. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. I'm just going based All on right. the order. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave landscapedesign.com for the for the farmer. Yes, that's and good uh, for him you know, look, there's some low hanging fruit here. It's just you know, rdf.com, great three letter dot com, three great letters. Got a little search. You know, I don't know. It, I don't even know what the, what that's going to go for on Namejet these days. Assuming it's no reserve. Maybe it's 25 ish, 30, mm-hmm. 35, go. maybe. Yeah, it's going to, yeah? it's going to go for, yeah, it's going to, it's a good like one. It's a good one. It's got some traffic. Yeah. I don't, 40, yeah. Braden? You think it'll go that high? Yep. Yeah. I thought 37, wow. 40 grand. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cause everybody's um, looking at the appraisal, you know, right? They're looking at the appraisal and, and they're like, oh, these things get, you know, I can sell this for 150 grand. Like, yeah, it takes a long time to sell these names. And yeah. 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 There's people out there with money and they're looking for a place to put it and they don't have the experience and they're overpaying for names. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell Brayden has Where do hasn't I sold find them? Where do I find them? <laughs> you know Brayden hasn't sold a name in a minute because he's just like, they're gonna sit on it forever and they're never gonna sell it because domains don't ever sell. <laughs> I was like, man, I just, shit, son. I just have a I have a I don't have an investment portfolio, I have a collection now. Yeah, a collection. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, exactly. let's call it let's exactly. call it what <laughs> Let's call it what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We used to be domain investors. Now we're just collectors. <laughs> collectors. That's it. <laughs> oh, no. That might have to be so. I might have to use that in the title. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some, uh, collectors. But anyway, all right. So, uh, okay. So we're thinking 30, 40 grand uh, for that to go off on Namejet. And, you know, and then you'll deal with what you deal with there. What else? Uh, <laughs> what else you got? Uh, you know, I actually really like airportsecurity.com. Um, I think there's a lot of potential utility for that name um 
anywhere there's confusion, there's an opportunity, and there's probably very few places in the world other than FTX where there's more <laughs> confusion <laughs> than airport security. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe you know, clear, maybe clear and, me. And it's got a bunch. It's got a bunch of traffic. Um, maybe clear, clear me, maybe clear know? me will buy it. See, that's the thing. I when believe you, their name is clear, not nope, clear me. It's actually, no, they it's got not. That hand, they got that handicapped ass domain name called Clear Me. But well, that's the, the issue. They is shouldn't. Clear. They shouldn't be able to call themselves Clear if you don't have your .dot com domain. You shouldn't be able to call yourself that because here. Because let me tell you something. Because I know, you know. Let me tell you about the, who owns Clear .dot com. Because Clear .dot com, which is one of the, in my we opinion, one of, the, one of the best names ever, right? And but let me tell you who gets all the calls from people that want to cancel because what they do is they get people. I know they got them all raked in, man. <laughs> Financial them, slavery. They get you at the airport. People they sign up for this free trial, right? And then a couple months later, it starts because they want to get through yeah. the line that day. Look, look the at line. the big old line of security. <laughs> sign up now. Get in free. Yeah. Don't worry. We won't even tell you when we ding your card for one sixty nine ninety nine. You know, like. Yo, and then they, and, and then you, you know who gets the calls? Every Joe, Nancy, you know who, and Frank calling up. You know who gets the well, calls to cancel? What, you, you know who gets the emails? My credit card. It's like, <laughs> no, sir, we didn't bill your credit card. Well, I see right here you bill my credit card. It's like, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, I want you to go to the website that you just went to to call me. What does it say? Well, it says you oh, it's some kind of domain broker or something. It's like, yeah, <laughs> sir, go on your credit card statement. See what it says there. Uh, clear, clear me airport security. Like, do you see a correspondence between those two? Is there any freaking reason why you believe I build your credit card? And then slam the hang up. You know, that's like a hundred times a day. That's why I forward the number to JT now. <laughs> it's like, please, you know, I had to change my voicemail. And I'm like, if you're looking for clear me, the airport company, you got to go well, to clear. It was actually a legitimate brand themselves. for us. I shut it down because of all the goddamn <laughs> People coming in trying to tell us that we're, you know, fraudulently billing their credit card. I think I'm going to start billing their cards. I'm going to be like, "What's your card? Let me get your card and your yeah. number." All right, great. Your card number. I'm going to start hitting it. I need the last four digits of your card number. Okay, <laughs> you start hitting. Yeah. But yeah. So they should number? have to be. They should. They should have to change all their branding to clear me because their brand is not clear. Can we sue they do that not for negligence and. <laughs> I'm going to sue them for intentional infliction of emotional distress. I'm sick of getting these damn phone 100%. calls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like stop it! Yeah, stop it! You should. Your I brand deal is with clear. All these me, emotionally distressed people. <laughs> your brand is clear. Me, your brand is not clear if you do not own well, the matching. Security. Com. We like that one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then my personal favorite name on the list is Wizard.org. Yeah. I have no idea if it will ever sell. Probably not. It but reminds, I, I, yeah. I just love the word. It reminds me of Mage. Right? Mage. Mage. <laughs> io. It's similar to Mage. io. Both fantastic domains. You know, was it wizard.org uh, was on the market before, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't remember that. Uh, I remember wizard.com a now, long right? time ago. Story. So, what are you paying for wizard.org on Namejet? Whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. You could say that name is cast a spell, yeah. Drew. That's um, like, I, that's the Mario Draghi <laughs> answer. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. All right. Well, Braden, man, what do you like? What, what do you think? Go ahead. Anybody know who Mario Draghi even is? I didn't. No, I was, I was pretending. Uh, the host already moved on. So. Oh, my God. Look at y'all. Not one of these people even knows Mario, Mario the, Draghi. The Italian economist. Give me uh, the. Not, uh, the oh, F my God. Uh, he was, all right, hold he on. was the head of the European <laughs> Central Bank. He was oh. the well. He was the finance minister of Italy, and then he and then he went on to be the the EU central bank yeah. chairman. Fred oh, okay. and I are really he, up on our EU central bank chairman. He he was well, you know, in the two thousand eight financial crisis, he was pretty important. You know, he's the guy that said, you know, they said, well, are you going to be able to, you know, how are you going to fix this hole? You know, and he said, and I'll that's do why it takes. he gets to speak in front of English people. I'll do whatever it <laughs> yeah, takes. And it, yeah, we'll print as much money as it takes, and then they'll give me a Nobel Prize for it. Whatever it takes. Yeah. So I don't remember an Italian dude's name from 14 years ago when he was in the news. Hmm. <laughs> He's still in the news. So he was actually the prime minister of Italy for a hot minute, I think. Yeah, I just... yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, this is a hot mess. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, he's like, I'm gone. <laughs> he, he literally stepped out. He's like, can I please just like rescind this shit? So, all right. Well, whatever it takes. Shout out to Imagine Dragons. Let's go. Um 
What else you got, Braden? Come on, talk to um, me. So I, I figured that Drew and I would both be after wizard.org. Um, yeah. Because I also like that one. Uh, Mark's going to go after universallove.com because, you know, he likes names like that. Okay. <laughs> Universal love. That's it's it. all about the love. That's um, it. All about the love. You know, I mean, there's there's some obvious good ones, RDF and, and even JVZ, which is not the best 3L, but still 3L. Um, Airport security, I agree with that one. And then the rest are like, meh, you know, Brand Nation maybe is a decent name for a branding agency, but that's such a small niche. You can mm-hmm. sit on that forever, that name. Okay. Um, yeah, right, Photocraft so- is also like a decent name for that little niche for, you know, crafting. Okay. Um, but, you know, these aren't, these aren't great. All right, so now we got negative Braden just back from Budapest. Well, look, you know I mean, what I'm saying? It's like if you can pick them up for fifty nine dollars. Maybe why? that's where you, you do know? your like. Maybe that's where you go for like your vampire blood to like do the whole reverse aging thing. Maybe that's why y'all were in in Europe. You know, so what? What are we doing? Right now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, we're just today's show is way off the rails already. So I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking. I'm just. I, I disagree. I disagree. I think it's been right on the rails. All right, so, Fair enough. all right, Shane. I, you, you know, he and her. Right, that's what happened. JT was like, I'm going to take it off in a different direction that's not at all related. I'm going to interrupt you talking about domain names so I can talk about some other. Related. Okay, so <laughs> with that, um, like, the, with like that, in 1982. Iranian prime minister used to say. <laughs> but some, I think some of these names, you know, if you can pick them up for 59 bucks, you're going to sit on them for a long time. But, you know, they're, they're you know, $3,000 names, $2,500 names retail. Oh, they're, they're better than that. Like, I yeah, mean, so go ahead, Shane. Yeah, like safety wear, that's a huge build up. I mean, that market is. If you're if you're anywhere in that market and have a shittier name than that, that's a, that is a cash cow. That's that mar- safety wear is a really big market. Um, it's going to require a build out, but but even build outs need good names. And and the other thing, protectors, it's it's not a huge value unless you're in that industry. But again, think about all the things that you can, you know, when you're looking for product names, you need something that's at least a wide enough uh, product to be able to sell, like. You're not going to sell small niche. Amazon's going to crush you on everything. But just just do an Amazon affiliate and safety where you could make the money back there if you have any skills at all in doing affiliate build outs. Those two names are going to they'll easily be worth a thousand dollars. You could you could get that back quickly if you're in that market. And there's you know now that I'm have time to look into this, it, the affiliate market is really tough. I mean without giving out too much information, we were just talking about like uh, cannabis weed seed strains to compete in that market in an affiliate, you need to spend 50,000 a month in advertising just to compete in that affiliate market game. So um, it definitely is not easy, but it's doable. Landscape design. I know I own landscape designer. So now I'm Mm. thinking, shit, I have to add this. (laughs) Oh shit. I shouldn't. I'm sorry, man. You should have told me not to put it on the list, you know, like don't draw any extra attention to this one. I don't get a ton of inquiries about it, but landscape designer has always been my build out is to build some kind of site. There's a lot of sites out there that offer landscape design. And one of the hardest things knowing from this industry is landscape designers are busy. There's only so many out there and everybody likes something to go off when they're buying plants and to be able to get a online landscape design for a decent price is a, is a big hole. It's a really big hole right now. There's just not, it's not an easy way to get one. So that landscape design is going to fit into that. So I have to add it. And I love the appraisal $169,000 with only 10 back orders. Somewhere those two don't match very well. So I'll probably add that. So just like Drew said, whatever it takes, I'll probably add that one. Um, whatever it takes. Yeah, wizard.org, fantastic. Deliver food sucks. Like that is way <laughs> that is horrible. That's you know, good. That, See, we talk about what we like and we don't like. If you hire food. brand nation to help you brand it, they're gonna brand nation will tell you don't buy deliver food. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, because I feel like Deliver Food, right? There's already so many services out there that do it, and that name doesn't even really hit on what we're talking about, right? It's like when you're like, no personality. You want order food. Has to have some personality, something. 
And that no, is- but J- JT, repeat that because that's the that I was going to make that point. Yeah. So what I was saying was, it's like, even what you're as a customer, your end users are looking for, they're not looking to deliver food, they're looking to order food, you know, so, you know, food delivery, maybe, right, but deliver food like that actual action term isn't even what anyone's actually looking for. They have Instacart jobs. Like you, you, that's where you look for jobs to, to deliver. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's, hey, I, it's my dream to deliver food. So I need yeah. to go find out everywhere that I could do that. I've always wanted people to be able to stay in their own home and eat well. <laughs> it's yeah. a personal Literally, passion of mine. It sounds like Instacart's like a uh, recruiting site. Deliver yes. Food. Deliver food. Training yeah, exactly. And and definitely yeah. not matching up to the seven thousand dollar appraisal. But like we say on every show, look, you can't use these. The appraisals are only, you know, it's an anchoring effect, but it, it's a, it's a portal to additional information related to these domains. But those appraisals, in and to themselves, are, you know, it's and, not and, that they're uh, worth less; they're worthless. Yeah, and real estate inspection, not a great. <laughs> I love the reverse of that, SEO by the way. That shit, the fact that we've used that toy. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Shane. What's yeah, no, there? like I'm just moving on here on real estate inspection. A great SEO name every. Real estate transaction has to have an inspection that goes with it. And Mm -hmm. it's a fantastic name. You know, the problem is it's a little bit more local. I don't know what lead gen in real estate inspection is, but I bet there's a market for it. Like, Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So, well, yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're a, if you do inspections, right, it's a good thing for you. Yeah. Yeah, But you need a, that's going to be a local thing. So, isn't that always the case? Like when you buy a big name, but you're just one small market. The real use case is to to take someone that just Googles it and then lead them to the the smaller market, that kind of lead gen. And I'm sure that's there, but it's a great name. It's yeah. it's really going to be useful for someone in that one. So I, I think, and then, um, yeah, I mean, I like Brand Nation. It's not going to sell for a lot, but I think there's great names compared to a lot. There's so much bad stuff on there. You've, you've picked a, a good selection of things to chew on. Thank you. You know, it's what I try to do every time in advance of these shows, man. I just try to give you guys some stuff to chew on. JT, know? this is all about you. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, not usually. That's why, you know, when I have the chance, I just try to, that's why I'm jumping in left and right with random tangents and stuff. I'm like, I got to say something. <laughs> let me talk. Uh, <laughs> let me say hey, they'll think of JT, but they'll remember Drew. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> As is the way, you know what I'm saying. So, but it's all yeah. good. It's all good. Um, it takes a it takes a bit. <coughs> and for but, us, um, it'll just be DMing us for fitness tips. So that's it. That's that. the, that's the move. And JT, for what it's worth, what the things that you have to say, it's not worthless. <laughs> it's worthless. I love it, man. I feel you. I feel you, man. That's what it is. I'm trying to get in with some like it's not completely worthless commentary. It's just worth less than what everyone else is saying. Um, but yeah, no, the real estate inspection piece is interesting. The CPC on that is the highest of all the uh, names on the list. And, um, and I think, you know, home inspection is a bit of a better name, but you know, real estate inspection, I mean, I've had to Google, you know, looking for, you know, home inspection before. And, uh, so I think if you could create a way to, you know, drive traffic and, you know, whether it's, what, is there really any, is there any value in directory type stuff nowadays? taking a domain and trying to build that out. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. Still, still a world out there. It's a whole, <laughs> I mean, we got like 15 employees doing, doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> I see it. Look, look at you, man. I see, good job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to make the money somewhere when the domains aren't selling, you know, so it's good. Um, all right, good. This is, this is a good, good show today. This is good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're running away as you talk like you were going into like, this. Okay, everybody else, right. everybody later, see you. um all right well cool look so that's it that's name jake and the jets we covered the list a lot of good stuff some stuff to avoid aka deliver food um and we all appreciate name jet sponsoring this like name jet makes it happen they're still sticking with us yeah oh hey Thinking look i mean you know lots of good yep. folks over there big shout Absolutely. out to i appreciate you know, all they do over there because a lot of people have run for the hills and kind of said, oh, we don't have the budget to support the industry. And Namejet and their company has been with it saying, hey, keep it up. And I and I know that's appreciated. Yeah, yeah. No, I got, and yeah, their I mean, shirts are our most comfortable shirt I have. And for Actually, the record, these were, we made these happen back in the day. Namejet in a jet. I got extra I don't ones. have one of those. Oh, I can make I mean, that happen. I'm, I'm still, telling you. I the, still uh, got unit registry. Stuff. I've never gotten anything. You know, this all, all the business I've done in this industry, nobody's ever sent me nothing. 
<laughs> you got to. The only t-shirt I've ever had was that Uniregistry one that they gave to everybody at the conference once. That shit oh, was that good. Speaking yeah. of getting something, let, let me show you this. I got this from uh, the crew. I don't even have any of my own swag. Nobody ever oh, sent me Oh, look at that. Swag. Hey, wait, wait. Hold on. I got one. Of That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> Does that look like me? Looks like a radio no. DJ. No, that looks like. Would they give me that much kid. hair? Yeah, it's like, come here, kitty. What about this? Oh. <laughs> hey, kid, you got you want some candy? Hey, uh, I'm like, yo, you made me like look like year old. Made me look like Dobby from Harry Potter. Hey, Billy, throw up Dobby up in this bitch. Throw the goblin up and and show everybody. That's what, uh, you literally, Braden looks like he lives under a bridge. You know what I'm saying? And like my joint, I don't. It looks like absolutely like eating children. Like, yo, come on in, kids. You look like a, a standard. You know, comedian. Braden, I never recognized you as my long chin brother <laughs> until that picture. Right. Actually, that is long. Yeah. But we, we both have we both have that long ass chin. But I will say though, big shout out to Namescon for sending these because it's to be pretty said unique about and cool. Long chins. Yeah, that is a great gift. You know, it's cool because it's it is unique and it's like really like an interesting and they spend a lot of time obviously. I mean, the, the detail is I'm sorry, crazy. were you saying something? So. <laughs> the year before was the 30 year old virgin photos, remember? <laughs> anyway, but yeah. So anyway, thanks, names con. Thank you, names con. Appreciate y'all. So next name con next time just give it just give us a weed and hash or something. <laughs> uh, the next one has been announced. Uh yes. end, end of end of May. Um, mm -hmm. same spot at the Omni in Austin. Yeah, we're going back to Austin, Texas. Yippee ki -yay. Um, and, and we'll, uh, we'll let's see. The... Third time might be a charm for me this time. No, Drew's going for sure. Drew's absolutely going to be there. Oh, so, well, they'll... there ain't nothing for sure, but I'm going to try. So it's going to be a it's going to be a bigger show. They're combining it with Cloudfest. Are they really? Oh, that's going to be big then. Yeah. All right. Cloudfest cool. is a big show too. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, are they... then we can't. You know, be ruckus and like just do demeanor shit. You know what I mean? We gotta like. It's not gonna be quite as intimate. We gotta hang out with all these like web hosting people. But that's cool. You know, it's like you thought we. It's like you thought we were dorks. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're nerds. We're nerds. They're dorks. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah. that's a difference. You know what I'm saying? We're the nerds yeah, over here. We okay? Web three thing. The nerds can hang. A dork? The the nerds <laughs> can hang. The dorks gotta go though. You know so. Um, but yeah, so that's what's up. So yeah, late May, uh, looking forward to that. We're going back to Austin. So, uh, you know, it'll be, uh, that'll be a lot of fun and, uh, yeah, we're going to do our best to get Drew there this time for sure. And, uh, we'll look to make that happen. So, um, all right, cool. Well, yeah. what else? Let's go. So this is the end of segment three. We literally down to the last like 60 seconds. Um, Shane, anything else to close out on your end, man? Uh, you gave me the free promo at the beginning. So I appreciate it. I got it to the front. I'll yeah, yeah, exactly. Good. Just going to see me more often, jibber jabber and stuff. Let's go. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Braden, before you jump. No, I just wanted to give names kind of a shout out. I did that. Good. I was, I was moving along already. So <laughs> <laughs> you were. And then, uh, Drew, anything, any final thoughts? He just took a big bite of food right before. He's like, I'm eating mushrooms now live. On, he's like, I'm eating mushrooms live on the show. <laughs> Catch me in 30 minutes. Let's see. Yo, let's, let's tape this again in 30 minutes. Mike Tyson does it on on Hotbox. And he says, he's like taking handfuls of mushrooms. He's like, oh, peyote. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Acid. <laughs> that dude's on like 19 drugs by the end of the show. Yeah. Um, boy, Great. That. Great. Dried figs. Does the body good. All right. Well, listen, everybody, like I say to y'all, thank you so much. I mean, first of all, thank you to my co-host for being here today. Appreciate Be you guys. Be careful out there always. and stay away from the magical black uh, money boxes. You know <laughs> yeah, no, no magical. No, black, right. no magical mystery boxes. Yeah. Stay and uh, But yeah, listen, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate that. And to the audience, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As I say in every show, without you, there's no us. You know where to find us. You want to hit us up. Um, otherwise, you know, we'll catch everybody next time here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Peace out, y'all.